All right. So this morning my mind was super confused and going all over the place. So I decided to do a little exercise. I basically just sat down and talked to the camera for 27 minutes about my life. And I soon realized that that was the perfect opportunity to um, do something I've been thinking about for a while and that is starting my own little podcast. So without further ado, let's get to this first little podcast where I'm um, for 27 minutes just where I'm talking a little bit about what I'm doing in my life and where I want my life to go. So let's get to it. All right. What a morning. First of all, um, I did a pretty cool practice. Um, I've been I've been walking around with with uh, some different thoughts in my mind recently, and somehow I've I haven't yet let myself. Um, let those thoughts uh, lead to action and uh, that's what I'm doing right now recording this video um, so basically what I'm what I'm trying to do with what I'm trying to do right now first of all it's been for a long time that I've wanted to allow myself to uh, speak English in a different accent because obviously not obviously I mean I, I know I know I have a more beautiful English accent than I usually speak in and um, and I want, I want myself to, uh, yeah, I want, I don't want to be afraid to speak a certain accent and be afraid what others might think when they notice that, oh, this guy just like suddenly decided to talk in a completely different accent. Um, but. I, I want to speak like this because I feel more intelligent and it just works better in my mind like it works it, it's it's easier to think uh, words flow more easily and uh, I guess it's something about creating uh, creating a new persona kind of like I'm not used to speaking like this and uh, it's kind of as if I'm not really myself even though it's me speaking and I I feel that's quite an interesting uh, quite an interesting exercise so this is my first new little thing is I am going to um talk like this now in my videos and yeah that makes me feel good so i'm going to do that um all right and then another thing i've been thinking about a lot is like right when i plan to like take a three month break from my life because I wasn't very happy where I was like I was I was I was more happy than I've ever been but like I was doing some I was I was in a stressful situation I was doing stuff I liked and I loved but it was it was all a bit too chaotic and a bit too stressful um, so I, I needed some time um, and then this whole COVID thing happened and um, that basically kind of allowed me to just be and do what 
what I've been wanting to do forever and like I've made made a couple of like um I've made a couple of attempt attempts here and there and I've never really consistently pursued it and and that's what I'm doing now um and yeah right now so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to generate my own income and it's been a bit of a, an emotional journey so far um like suddenly I have no income whatsoever and like I I still have some good like business connections um back in back at home but I'm I'm not I'm not sure if they're the right places to go back to. Like they're not, they're not really what I'm truly burning for and passionate about. Um, not because of the actual work. It's more because of the framework around it. Like it's, um, it's teaching only kids, and that's it's too it's too difficult for me. Like I, I I enjoy playing with kids and I enjoy like being with them. But if that's your main work, then it's very taxing on you. Like children have such a high energy and and I I can't match I can't match my energy to like a group of ten kids with super high energy. Like I can't I can I can't. I can't keep my energy that high, you know, and like when you're having a bad day and and your energy is quite low and you're having like this parkour class with like seven little kids that want to be like super excited and, and you know, like they want to climb around and they have this like incredible expectations of what we're going to do in that class and then just my, my energy can't match that and then they have a terrible experience and uh you know like it's it's not it's not nice and of course it's like it's part of the job you can never have a perfect class or whatever but um basically when when it's like that over a long period of time um combined with like my personal life and like i've been kind of financially struggling and like learning how to like like um manage my own finances in a good way and like it's not like having doing your own bookkeeping when you've never been educated in that stuff is not fucking easy and like so many small things uh that your mind is thinking about all the time right um yeah it's i mean yeah teaching teaching uh 10 hours of of kids a week is just it's a bit too much for me i i'd like to have two or three classes a week that that would be good um but yeah not not to the same amount of what i've had um right that was a little side step there but I guess that does not matter <laughs> too much um as i'm i'm basically i'm doing i'm doing this as an exercise filming myself and uh I don't really care how much how many people watch this like i'm it does it matter who's w watching the entire thing no it doesn't like i'm just going to talk a little bit and and see where this goes it's also really nice for for me so i'm doing this as much for myself as as i'm doing it for uh someone else if someone else hear this hears this and finds some value in whatever i'm i'm talking about then you know like great mission achieved but that's not that's I know that that's not supposed to be the main goal of doing whatever you're doing right so let's go back to what I actually want to do like I've been thinking a lot 
about what the fuck I'm doing, how the fuck am I going to like contribute value, right? Because um, people pay for value. People, people want to give, people want to receive things that are valuable to them. Uh, and um, and that's basically what I've been what I've been thinking about. Like, what am I good at? How am I going to contribute value to other people's lives? And um, like, I've 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 learned to uh, st- sidestep from the fact that, like, okay, my first question was how am i going to earn money okay i'm i'm going to make this product right and then and then i kind of like do that in a half ass way and it doesn't it doesn't feel super honest it doesn't feel super real it doesn't doesn't feel like i'm doing it from my heart um and like let's be let's be honest like you know i i i need to need to earn some money right i need to be able to survive and pay my bills and all that um but yeah basically i'm i'm right now on a journey with, where i'm trying to find out how i can contribute value to other people's lives and um like i'm i'm coming up with a number of different ways in in uh, as to how i can do that and um I guess these short videos of me talking is is a way of doing that. Um, right. Um, I'm I'm hoping uh, that someone might hear some of this and like get intrigued by some of the things I said, and and that can lead to some kind of uh, exchange of thoughts and energy and whatever. Um, but yeah, so I've been thinking a lot about like how, like what am I contributing? What is my value? Like how do I contribute value to um, to the world around me? And like I've been reflecting a lot on my life and on what I'm doing right now. And it hasn't been easy. It's been pretty fucking hard. Like asking yourself, okay, what am I good at? Like, like what, how? am I valuable to other people? How am, how am I gonna, you know, how am I, how am I valuable to others? And that's a fucking hard question. Like it triggered, it triggered an intense few weeks of me just like, oh God, what, like what is, like what it like what am i worth what am i good at what is my what is my value like <laughs> seriously freaked me out and like yeah sent me on a bit of a, an emotional roller roller coaster and even though it's still hard to answer those questions like i know that <laughs> i have a lot of valuable to contribute and i'm not sure which words to like place on that i'm not i'm not sure sure which words i'm gonna uh use to like express how i give value like i'm i'm not i'm not sure how like what my value is and and to be honest i'm not sure if i need to know what my value is i guess i just need to do whatever the fuck i i love and and i'm gonna keep doing that and if people find value in that it's like basically up to them to determine what my value is um so yeah basically for me like what i'm what i'm aiming to contribute here is my passion my love and uh like i'm aware of what my mission is in life i've been i've been thinking a lot about that as well like what do i really 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 want want to do if money was not if it wasn't a thing and if i was in in this like perfect situation uh like what do i want to do and um 
basically I I love community community I love other people and I love philosophizing I love um, I love talking to other people because you learn so so much from other minds and um, yeah I, w I want I want to I want to create a safe space for for people who need one and I, I want to I want to create community I want to create strong community of of loving people and uh, strong people and when I say strong I don't mean like this typical image of like yeah we need to be strong like i have no weaknesses like i i don't believe that's strength really um what strength to me is like like wanting to improve yourself and like act proactively doing that and uh, also realizing what your weaknesses are allowing yourself allowing yourself to to have your weaknesses and allowing yourself to like experience the emotions you experience um being strong to me is about wanting to overcome uh, your fear and like taking small steps to do that and um yeah being strong also like means uh to me it means also being like being uh, vulnerable or like like allowing yourself to be vulnerable when when that's necessary um, yeah right so <laughs> my mission in life is to to um, my mission in life is to make other people happy and help them become stronger um, I want I want to I want to make people feel loved. I want them to, uh, I want them to want to explore their own potential. I want them. I want to help them become better versions of themselves. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm all in it for for others. I love. I love other human beings, and I. I want them to be happy. And I think. Uh, I think the best way to become happier is by doing it together rather than um, an individual thing. All right, I can't believe I've been talking for 17 minutes non-stop basically and uh, and I still don't feel like I'm I'm finished. So I'm just going to keep going here. Um all right, I've been thinking back a lot at uh, my past life, and uh, and I I think back to the moment where I started doing parkour. Uh, it it happened when me and my friends saw like a video on YouTube, right? And that was like we thought that was cool, and we wanted to imitate that like it was people jumping around doing flips off the walls and like whatever it it was just we wanted to be cool we wanted to be tough we wanted to do uh we wanted to do cool shit basically um but what actually kept me going uh what what kept me going on parkour was like i lost i lost all my friends when i was 14 um that was that was a traumatic event and um like i i was basically left without any friend for two years um i was in school i i, I went to school i i like hated getting up in the morning i would wake up in the morning and the first thing i do is i'd go to i'd turn on the tv and watch whatever was on the tv so that i didn't have to think about my own thoughts <laughs> Um, and then I'd go to school, I'd have a terrible time, like sit sit there in class, like try to focus on whatever they were like talking about. And uh, and then like every fucking recess time I was scared to shit that I, that I, 
you know, saw them just like walking around the same place where I was and like they, yeah, anyway, it was, it was a terrible experience and, um, and parkour basically became my, my opportunity for finding a new community and, and feeling loved again and, uh, and that, like that basically worked and propelled me and, um, made me realize that like moving and 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 uh, pursuing parkour as a career and all this stuff has come from a deep deep need inside um to like feel loved and and become better um like i've made a lot of mistakes in my life and i've done a lot of stupid stuff and like looking back it's all been it's all been worth doing those things like i've learned a lot and i feel like i'm now in control of of those traumatic experiences like i've dealt with them i've i've um i've worked with with that trauma in my past and and it's helped to make me stronger and uh, it's helped uh, help me to be who i am today all right and uh yeah, so basically parkour and movement for me became like a coping mechanism to deal with the pain I had. It was it was an escape, it was good, it was better than what I had before, like going to school, watching TV, when I get home, whenever to like just numb my mind because I was, I was in so much pain every single day. Um, yeah, so my my entire life I've been I guess I've been trying to find a trying to find a better place, like find better circumstances and um and I'm finally at a point where like those circumstances are are in place. Everything's in place. Um I have community, I have a great place where I'm living, I there's I live in a place where there's a lot of um lot of possibilities to do whatever I want. I can go and see some culture, I can find a group of people who's doing this and find a group of people who's doing that. So like basically all my needs are met uh except this one thing i want to not i want to not work for someone else full time it's it i can't i've tried it a number of times and it just does not work for me like i i take a job with someone and and i i like the actual work and and i feel like oh I, like this would be so amazing if 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 it was mine to control and if, and if i had ownership of it and like just working for someone else just puts like a whole framework around the content of the work that in the end just starts killing my passion and my motivation and um like it's i feel i feel even though it gives me freedom i feel incredibly limited when i'm working for someone else so basically i want to improve improve the amount of uh yeah I, I want to like i want to live off the stuff i really love and then and then of course i want to work with others and like you know do interesting things but i want to be like the co-create co-creator of that framework rather than being uh rather than being like you know like someone who receives tasks i want i want to be i want to be there i want to be there and co-create the tasks and set the frames and all that um and uh yeah that's basically what i'm trying to do right now um i'm trying to find out how i can uh how I can provide value for my world around me and I hope that that will lead me to more opportunity and more abundance basically.
Um, yeah. All right, I think I'm at a point where I'm starting to round this off. I think I am starting to feel satisfied with my little little talk uh, little talk thingy I'm doing here on on this video and um, yeah I feel I feel happy that I did this and I'm I I'm excited to continuously learn how to become better at this and um, if someone was watching this video even just a part of it i would love i would love it if if you engaged with me and uh right if like if any of this made you think about anything like reach out to me and like let's have a let's have a fucking good conversation right um let's let's exchange some some energy let's let's become better friends <laughs> yeah all right um cool i'm grateful for this opportunity and uh, i hope i hope to have i hope to positively touch on other people's lives and um right i think i've said everything like <laughs> I, I've said a lot and uh, I'm I'm gonna quit very soon um, everyone who was listening or watching thank you very much uh, I I want to love you so get in touch with me let's let's become better humans together all right this is me signing off goodbye